Hi, I'm Lewis Black, author of a new book, Me of Little Faith. And since I don't have that much faith, I don't really care if my leaders have much either. But they constantly seem to want to show me just how religious they are. And I don't care. I don't know when it got important for them to feel the deep need to discuss their relationship with God with me because I don't care. I would normally use bad words here. I would use them to tell you just how much I don't care. But since anyone of any age might see this, I can't. Just know that I am thinking them. This religion thing is out of control. Take, for instance, the case of presidential candidate Mitt Romney. People got upset that he was a Mormon. So what if he's a Mormon? Look, I realize they're wacky. Just spend a few weeks in Salt Lake City like I did and you'll find out. But they do have a moral center. If I have any problem with Mitt Romney, it's that he's a Mormon who has only one wife. (laughs) Call me crazy, but I think that shows a lack of commitment. It's the influence of the religious right, which is insanely out of proportion to their numbers, that is motivating all of this need to know. All of these candidates kowtow to it, and it hasn't got a thing to do with what makes a good president. My president can worship Ronald McDonald for all I care. I just want my president to have a moral compass. That's what matters, isn't it? Give the idiots parading into church for their video ops an ethics quiz. It might have helped us avoid the idiot who runs the country now. The guy has an absolute faith in the Bible as the word of God, but he's clueless when it comes to making a decision about torture. I'm pretty sure it was written in Genesis. Quote, in the beginning and ever after, thou shalt not attach electrically charged clamps to someone else's testicles, end quote. Okay, maybe that's not the exact biblical quote, but it's close enough. Anyway, the main reason that religion has taken such a prominent place in our elections is the issue of abortion. People get so upset about the right to life or the right to choose that I can't even make a joke about it. This has been a major political issue my entire life, and I'm sick of it. I say you take all the people from either side, the ones who are the most argumentative, the ones who are so cocksure of their stances, the ones who are the most obnoxious, and lock them all in a room and tell them they can't come out until they have an answer. We'll never hear from them again. Can I get an amen? I've been Lewis Black, author of the new book, Me of Little Faith.